Yeah, I'll dig a fucking hole. Nobody else has a fucking ball. Elon Musk is a friend of rich people. Okay. Boom. That's it. He's a fucking loon. Dude. I don't want that humor. I don't like it. I don't think it's funny. I just fucking said it because that's the game of the show. Oh, shit. No, I don't get stand up, man. I don't get it. You guys been making fun of me when I'm not even in the fucking building? You guys super weird on us, dude. Stop moaning like that. I do love Pat. My grandma's always got those trays of food out, trays of nuts, trays of jelly beans, trays for widow's ashes. You know, my grandma's like, grandma's like, eat Pat, eat your skin and bones. I'm like, no, grandma, that's skin and bones. That's literally grandpa's charred skin and bones. Oh, guys, you know I'll be up here all night. I got about, got about 35 more minutes here. Okay. Like, like stage lights? Is that what you're saying? What's that? You like stage lights? All right. No, it didn't work because you said going. I love comedy. But if you had just made the gesture, and then I had said you guys like you just like stage lights, just imagine the pop from the audience. I guess so. Imagine we're gonna have to just imagine it. Uh, yeah. That's Pat Reagan's comedy for you. Yeah. Man, imagine had that gotten a big response. Just imagine it. Well, this is dirty, but you know bulimia. Don't you like choke your choke yourself? Like you, you throw up your food. You throw up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, like, I you could also potentially talk about. Hold on, everybody, get your imaginations ready. Uh, prepare, your, prepare your imaginations. Set your imaginations to crush. Yes. Is that the end? Choking on it. Okay. Oh, wait, that was that? <laughs> was that just one big alley-oop for me the whole time? I love it. Thank you, Pat. Very fucking good. Well executed. Oh, no, no, you can't really fuck with this dude. He'll fucking punch you out. <laughs> I know. I mean, look at this guy. Nah, he, yeah. That's God, that. I got knocked out by God love. D yeah, that's the dude you want on your side. Godfrey's God gay for God love. <laughs> Godfrey's gay for him. You hear? Do you hear? No, it's not gay. You hear? You hear? No, it's not gay. You were like, but you were like, you were like, that man, rolled up sleeves of yours man, is gay. Shut up, <laughs> God, man. Roll up sleeves with no muscles. You got nice, mouth. you got nice <laughs> lips. You got, but you kept saying no, 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 and talk, shit. Talk, talk. You said you were like word. you kept saying you kept saying like you're like you're like oh god oh oh god hey Mr. God love you got nice lips and shit. No one said you that. Got exfoliate. Said, wow. You look no, like that's you what got, you're oh, saying. Like, you got a nice smile and no shit. No one said that. You got a nice smile and shit. <laughs> He's ready you to play. You got nice lips. You're fucking up and he can't play because you're fucking bombing. Hit me. See he can't even play because you're bombed, dummy. <laughs> Do they make Captain Crunch without the berries? Is that is that they have some? Yeah, 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 they have one called Oops, all berries, <laughs> and then then they yeah. have your Hey, my mom hates me. That, and then they the have just Crunch. Yeah, I mean that <laughs> was the original have, Captain Crunch didn't have berries. Then they have Whoops, all pubes. It's a pube. Base. Pat Reagan sometimes shoots a three pointer, and. Uh, they don't always go in. Sometimes he just floats it out there, and, and you don't know what you're going to get sometimes. Like, sometimes it just fucking crushes the room, and then sometimes it does what just happened there. You can cut and paste it somewhere else where it would totally work. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You know, I know, I know a lot of people here, because I'm still in the mic scene. So I, so I go out, and I fucking... These are, my, these, are my, these are my peers. I love it. Yes. Why, why do you do that? Like, why are you still doing open mics? Uh, cause I am addicted to stage time. So it's like, I'll do three sets. If it's like, I'll, I'll do two mics and then a show just cause like I have nothing else that makes me feel validated. Cause I have a, uh, I put it like this. So I have a, I have a, uh, it's like picture, I have a gas tank in my body, <laughs> but there's a leak in it. And no matter how much gas you pump in gas being validation, it can oh. never fill up. Okay, save that answer for like a gay blog or something that wants to write about it. I don't know why I'm pitching here. My passion for stand-up is like I have a gasoline leak and uh... <laughs> what the fuck? You got uh, booty like J-Lo and glasses like Zsa Zsa Gabor. Oh man, oh, oh wow, there's the half-court shot that Pat shoots <laughs> once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> like that ball boy that gets stuck on the court when the <laughs> team comes back down and gets like run over. <laughs> uh, how long have you been on stand-up? A uh, year. You get up a lot? Like three times a week. How many moons is that? 
How many moons is in a year? You know when people say like many moons ago? Yeah, but I don't I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist. What, what, my favorite Adam Allgood joke is like this extended rant about IHOP, about how they make their pancake batter and how they have rats, like human-sized rats, chained up in the basement and they milk the rats <laughs> into a vat of pancake batter. And that's the IHOP pancake batter. It's about a 20-minute joke. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better when Olga does it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely better. Fuck yeah. Except for the pants. The pants he dresses like a seventh, no, a fifth, eight. Oh, All right. Fourth, uh, he dresses like a fourth grade girl. <laughs> just got there you go. Hey, and uh, Claire's. Jesus, wow. he just follows girl. through the yeah. pistol now. It's not even enough to you shut know, him up. Talk. Maybe that could be your niche, Pat. The lullaby album yeah. selection, you know, just... Put people to rest with your rock and roll. The James Taylor genre. <laughs> Woo! It got quiet. Did you yeah, guys yeah, no, no, we it? heard it got quiet. Yeah, yeah no need to, no need to ask if we heard it. <laughs> Could you we give love us? It. Only you can summon that kind of silence, Pat. It's incredible. Earlier this year, I had surgery. I had a tumor cut out of my neck. Oh. It was, yeah, it's weird. Uh, going into it, I knew there's a 20% chance. Uh, I, I either had cancer or my face would be paralyzed. Uh, it's like if we were playing bingo, they'd probably call out B9. <laughs> See, it was a drain up until that very last turn. Uh, you could have stopped at any point in time. Tony, he said he had tumor. Does that mean you have two more jokes? Uh, somehow Pat came in and bombed harder than you did. Uh, you just took your mom and played on it. Are autistic German kids obsessed with concentration camp trains? <laughs> Can somebody no. please escort no, him? You almost have the right joke. That's what's sad about it. It's, it's, close. It, it's you're, you're so close. It's, it's almost like that, uh, that for an autistic German, it's hard for them to concentrate. <laughs> well, autistic kids love trains. You know, autistic kids are obsessed with trains. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take some time. Yeah? Yeah. You could team up with the other guy and be another Somali pirate. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I like how you brought that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you know what? I like this guy. Uh, I'm a musician and a writer, songwriter. Uh, uh, any, any, what's the name of your band? My Chemical uh, I, I'm, No, no. I used to listen to them in middle school when I was going to the We all phase, did, but yeah. middle school. But <laughs> My Chemical Dependence. No, um, I, make, I, I make music of... Just read! Yeah. I love how fast you go back to the book when you say something that doesn't get a laugh. But when it does get a laugh, you, your head stays up yeah. and you absorb it. I'm like a dog. I like positive reinforcement. Totally. What's that? I wanted to have a sing-off. You Do you? I wanted to, uh, but it's over. All right. Fuck Just yeah. like life will one day be for everyone in this room. Back to the book. All right. <laughs> Can I ask uh, why the fuck you guys are dressed like that? Uh, so is this like, are they re revamping White Men Can't Jump and you guys have the same audition to them? Hey, we're just trying to be more castable, Tony. <laughs> yeah. How do you it always works work? well when you nervously squeeze your water bottle while saying, oh, they shouldn't eat a job. Ah, ah, somebody love me in this town! There you go, Pat Reagan. There they are. For the I'll do it. I'll do it if no one calls me a fucking faggot. Whoa, well, it looks like you're not doing it because we already did that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Calls me a faggot again. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Jeez. You don't have to be such a faggot about it. <laughs> God hates guitar comics. <laughs> I'm not a fucking guitar comic, Mike Lawrence. Listen to me one fucking time. I have fucking fans. I'm a fucking artist, man. I'm a fucking artist. Like a real one. <laughs> okay, like, after going on a rant like that and not getting laughs, I guess you're an improviser, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, dude. No, dude. I make fucking music, dude. I make fucking music from my fucking heart. I don't just do comic book reference. You my real feelings? You want uncensored, Pat? I know is the answer. I could already say Who yes are you that. talking to right now? Guess who has beef with the show now, Tony? <laughs> you know what? Wow. I'm fucking out of here. No, don't do it, Pat. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait, what's he doing? He's coming back closer. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, may maybe, Jeremiah, if you play one half of a song, you'll come back. Nope. He's not coming back. <laughs> After it all, he really got more mad at being called a guitar comic than a faggot. <laughs> it was really the one that he snapped at. I mean, I he said, don't call me. Oh, oh shit. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where did he come from? Where did he come from? You guys been making fun of me when I'm not even in the fucking building? Look at this tree. I think you were in the building, Pat. I think technically you were in the building. You just walked around. Wait, did he literally just do a Pac-Man? Like, how the fuck did that physically work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a video game reference. Yeah. 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 Because I've got rage, motherfucker. Wow. Oh, man. We have a song about average sized dicks. You, 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 you can just go right spot. into it. You, I know, you, you, but you, Jeremiah wanted to play his sax. Okay, <laughs> Al, this is a rough night. I feel like you're having a nightmare. Everyone else is having good Pat, time. stop turning on everybody. Yeah, Pat's, Pat's like always like two inches from a meltdown tonight. I'm sort of loving this. This is weird, but I'm just picturing like your dick also having your face on. Wow. That is weird. That is weird. Right, guys? Like we were all <laughs> right? just picturing <laughs> you fucking terrible <laughs> acoustic guy in a Snuggie. What the fuck? <laughs> That was just dumb. <laughs> it was real the dumb. Guy in a <laughs> Pat, I just want to let you know you're the worst. You know, shut up. Don't <laughs> don't ever talk during the show. You kill every Classic episode. Mouth breather, yeah. And it turns out that what he was saying was is that you killed the show. Yeah. <laughs> what I read was like you kill on the show. Yeah. He was saying that I killed the momentum, but I don't read those negative comments because I don't need negativity in my life, Tony. Oh, man. Love it when people just go and chase the dream. I mean, I, I hear that, though, and I'm like, it's, it's so – open mics are so tough out here to yeah. go back to mics. But but good in the clubs, I guess. You've been doing it. What the fuck? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Always some of the most interesting characters in comedy go by one name. You may know some of them. Gallagher, right? Yeah. Uh, sure. Prince was a one-name guy. Shirley. I just pulled... <laughs> what was that? Shirley. McLean. <laughs> Shirley. Like Shirley Temple. There you go. She, she did stand-up and she was just a little baby thing. Pat just had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a doctor that's a Kill Tony <laughs> fan in the room. We might need to get him a little check up there. Uh, I'm, I'm into amateur shit, you know? What was the first thing that you didn't say? Yeah, we say? saw your comedy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. Pat, oh. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> My God, you're like what? Jack Ruby. You're just right next to these guys, and you shoot them right in their fucking gut. <laughs> <laughs> Smart Jack Ruby reference. <laughs> it's always the worst when you burn someone and you realize, oh, no, the crowd likes him more than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Dan St. Germain. Oh, you turn go. on me. I got Dan St. Germain on my ass now. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and you were wearing the Canada shirt. I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Looks like Adam also ruins your career. career yeah. 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 Adam ruins everything. <laughs> the name of the show. <laughs> Pat, <laughs> Pat is on, I believe, a five-second delay here. <laughs> uh, if, if we could up Pat's Wi-Fi stream, <laughs> it'd really be great because he's clearly buffering a little bit tonight. <laughs> man... <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. He's just getting what I just said about him. Hold on a second. It's just coming in right now. Like, I didn't look twice until I walked and saw it again. That was the again. box where that dude found like, his hat. <laughs> nice. I was just little... I mean, that's just... What, <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> that's fucking... Nobody wait, fucking which, likes me. I don't give bad. a fuck. That I'm just going to write break. fucking songs bad. and play them my whole time. Oh, there he goes. No, Every he time he gets mad. You know, you know what? I write you know what? songs and play them. Yeah, I'm just going to write fucking songs and play them, because this shit sucks. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking write it. You fucking write a song. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, man. You guys fucking write a fucking song, man. I fucking, that's what I do my whole fucking life. I devote my fucking life to this shit, and I believe in this shit, and I sing with all my fucking heart, and I don't give a fuck if you guys like me, because I'm going to keep fucking singing my yeah. fucking songs. Yeah. I'm going to do it my whole goddamn life, and I'm going to contribute to the world of art. By the way, that was real. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Yeah, that it was is. fucking real, Jeremiah. Goddamn right that was fucking real. All right, anyway, sorry. Melissa... <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. I love that. If I, I, who would have thought? I'm doing stand up on BuzzFeed tomorrow. You think I give a fuck? 
I don't even do stand up. They asked me to do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. And guess what? I'm not gonna give a fuck. All the people I'm on the lineup with suck, and I'm fucking funny. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you never wanna, you never wanna foul a proud moment with. I'm gonna be on Buzzfeed tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, that was meant to be humorous, obviously. Whoa, whoa. Maybe, maybe Buzzfeed will have one of those cool lists of all the dude, crazy dude, things the thing you said like, to me. You're gonna have a break. You're. You're doing comedy so you want people to like you. That's not like... Oh, is that it? Talk. Is that it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, really? You don't want to fucking split an audience? You don't want to fucking do something that challenges the fucking status quo in this bullshit society we live oh, in of fucking, fucking robots? Break. Yeah, man. Do something fucking different, man. That's what I'm fucking trying to do. Look at me in the fucking eyes, Dan. I'm looking at you right now. I'm doing something I'm fucking, fucking different. Right now, and I don't give a fuck if these people don't like me right. because this is my fucking life. And I do this every fucking fucking night i fucking write songs all fucking day and i fucking write my fucking pilot brown town all fucking day yeah that's right that's right i write my fucking pilot i, don't give a fuck. I went to usc screenwriting school i don't give a fuck i went to usc film school fuck all you damn i love it that's the band leader pat reagan sunday 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 see your favorite comedian hole digger <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll dig a fucking hole. Nobody else has the fucking balls to fucking dig a fucking hole. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the balls oh, to dig no, a no, hole. No, no, no. Oh, it's the schoolyard. <gasps> what the fuck is going on? This is a fun episode. <laughs> Tim Bam, now how long? You're one of the guys that's been doing this show forever. How long have you been on stand-up in L.A. now? Uh, two years. Right, oh. two years. and uh, How many moons is that? <laughs> You, you talk a lot. Oh, can we order two tennis balls for Ron, waitstaff? Uh, why would he Why would he need two tennis balls? Put on the bottom of his walker. Oh. Oh. Yeah. On ice. <laughs> American comedy can't be boiled down to fucking dick jokes. I was trying to be positive. Like you told me, the show's gotten really positive, and everyone's just asking questions. Well, I mean... Uh, we're supposed to be nice to fucking Pat. No. Uh, but... <laughs> wow! I um, I can't. My guard is up. Al. I liked it better when you were right fucking here. quiet and just playing music. <laughs> uh, remember that show? Whoa. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Segway. You know what the sport of UFC is uh. the sport of UFC is a uh, a uh, a repressed, crunching ballet of homoeroticism. Wow. One guy, one <laughs> one guy, Pat. Wow. Ten years ago, that would have fucking killed with everybody. Yeah. Before it was a super respected sport, but right. now just one guy that's totally gay for sure. It's like, <laughs> yeah, fuck those homo erotic guys. <laughs> First reward, um, I've broken both my collarbones. I I ruptured two discs in my back. I've broken my ankle. Um, I have torn a ligament in this wrist, and other than that, I've probably had like five concussions. And that was from waiting tables at Flappers? <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was a good one. So, yeah, a a after a while, it got to a point say where I did right, a good yeah. one. Because you have so many, you know... I speak <laughs> my mind, and I'm up against a tough situation. My sense of humor doesn't fit in here, and I'm doing my best, man. Hey, you're, you're doing a good job, buddy. I don't buddy. get paid for You're doing shit. a good job. Come on. Me either. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, man. For this shit. <laughs> like, that's why you're not being hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> a couple dollars. If you want to throw me some money, I'll uh, give you some of the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> all right. I was going to say, any, any son of a bitch, piece of shit, <laughs> asshole, fuck, loser, uh, bridge tro uh, what, uh, person who knows me from this shit, it's just a shame. Because Ahmed, you know, gets to go up on stage and perform and... Uh, and just be funny and be carefree. And I, uh, I just do this all the time. And people know the show, and so they have an idea of me. And I would much rather perform in front of audiences where I can uh, take chances and, and be funny and like do do my shit. Pat, I love you. You're killing it, and I think you're absolutely perfect on this show. And I love you, and I love growing with you. Oh. I hope you know gay. that. Gay. <laughs> yeah, gay, Brian. With Every uh, Instagram. For followers, name is like Jaw Punch One Twenty Three or something. Like every Instagram follower that I get from Kill Tony, it's like Shovelhead Ninety Eight I. Are you like a that BM, like a shitty BMW model or something? 
Way to win over people, uh, Pat. Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, just taking shots at the stereotypical Kill Tony fan. Uh, seems like all the fans of this show all have the same hand or like shithead number five. <laughs> this is gonna. This is gonna anyway. I mean, you, you got could pink pick hair. Your confidence got to be pretty Yeah, but high. she would try to fix you, right? Like, dress you better, do your hair better, and maybe, like, get you to just stop acting. Just be a mother and a yeah. whore at the same time. Whoa. What the fuck? Jeez, you, Pat Reagan. Some you just want to get out of your chest right now? <laughs> you just no. <laughs> you got super weird on us, dude. Oh, my God. You know, so... Fuck. Yeah, so this side doesn't quite lift up and stuff. So I spent was years... This dur- was this when you were on that show with Gene Siskel? Oh my god. <laughs> Pat, come on. <laughs> so, Pat, we can still see you beyond the you face thought, you paint. You thought the words Gene Siskel was going to ignite a fire. I should have said Roger you Ebert. You said it well, so I strong. It Roger Ebert. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> you could have played this in, a, you a, a, played this in the half an hour that I let you play pre show uh, every single week. But meanwhile, you're doing it well. Hundreds of thousands of people listen to the number one live it's podcast no in the world. Shit. Chances you take when you work with your creative friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chances you viewership take when you work with risk takers. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course you feel her grandparents' presence. Her grandparents gave you that house. It was a present. Well, that's the kind of that's the kind of humor you want? I don't want that humor. I don't like it. I don't think what it's I, funny. I, I just I love... fucking said it because that's the game of the show. The show's a game. Play along if you want. What I love is... <laughs> what, you think I'm talking bullshit up here? Oh, I mean, in that, every show is a game of, of comedy, right? <laughs> I am out of the conversation. Yeah, I thought they you were... should have like a little like uh, like a plastic like scraper at the yeah. bottom of your tail to like... To do like window, like windshields for cars when it's snowing. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Yeah, homeless. And then the jacket. No, the glove. That it's like that material did glove. You, it's you like it's piling got, on Tony's joke, but it's doing a much less elegant job. But I think it's a funnier. Well, at least you're not just idea. dragging it on by over explaining it, taking no, up time that, that could would, be fixed, no, I would rebuilding the that. momentum much of the too show. Much respect and then, of the course, if you race. talked over the host while doing that after he was acknowledging <laughs> it at the exact same time to just. Plow whatever you needed to get in there, in there. Exactly. You understand? You know what's funny about ironic humor? It's like people don't get that you're being ironic. People don't get that you're being dumb on purpose. Oh. And I'm being dumb on purpose like all the time. And people are like, you're stupid. I'm like, no, you're stupid. Right. <laughs> Shove it in. Hitler, go ahead. It's an ass flavored baby wife. There you go. Yusuf. What do you the think flavor of ass? Oh, dokie dokie. Now it's a thing. Mm, there we go. Smells delicious. Mm, now I'm Mexican. <laughs> I'm Mexican Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that's funny, Tony. <laughs> uh, they were, it was cheap as hell. Like I'm going wait, to you're take, Hitler again? I'm going to take... I d- I'm going just a slight short announcement. I'm going to take my armband off now because I, I have an armband. If we're a band, it's just too much. All right. Uh, slow, okay. The slow creep out of character. <laughs> I got a one-liner about d- video games. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Okay, my bomb. The uh, black. Okay, you know oh, what? Boy, my favorite part about black porn is when it goes EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna stick with my guns. Fuck Elon Musk. The guy's wow. a fucking loon, dude. But I still don't understand why you think he's a loon. We'll, we'll give you a chance. I to think. Express I think a lot of people are loons. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. so I, you know, I'd rather not, you know, get, go too deep here, but. I, I really I really think he's a fucking loon with no vision of the future. But I yeah. think you got to look at the guy's accomplishments. They've been pretty stellar. It's amazing. He's what always you... involved in these super successful companies. When you hear him talk about technology in the future, he seems very measured, very aware, very intelligent. But yet he has to deal with fuckheads like you. He has yeah. a he has a sci- <laughs> he has a Scientology. Call he has him a, a loser. He has a, he has a Scientology quality about him. That, it's called being that really fucking me. smart. That bothers me. Did you uh, see when he was on the Colbert's night uh, the, the Late Show? And he was talking about polarizing Mars. He said he'd drop nukes on. Colbert goes, oh, you're a super villain. He was like, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's a fucking he's villain, a, dude. He's, he's the bad Mars guy. He's the fucking Mars. bad guy. He's going to like, drop nukes on the poles to, call, uh, to change the climate of Mars, he was saying. Oh. Darren, well, that, how are nothing we, lives there, how are you Elon watching? Musk is a friend of rich people. Okay, Boom. Pat, that's it. Pat, he's Pat, a fucking Pat, loon, Pat, dude. Pat, Pat, right. Pat, Pat, Pat. But I posted a picture of myself and Rose Namajunas side by side because I think we look alike. Mm-hmm. 
And she's just like, she just commented on it randomly saying, really cool. And that was it. Mm. Wow. Because she's a supportive woman. She's probably woman. high as she's fuck. A, maybe. Yeah. That's just probably what it was. in front of the computer just, I'm just going to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you, so you in the picture you and Rose looked alike? Yeah, we have a very similar haircut. Or when I cut my hair at the time, we did. Huh. Do you think Flood she like when you punches and kicks the keys when she types? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um. So. Jeremiah's bed shaped like really a really sax case, case and mine shaped like a guitar case. They're flat so The subject of your comedy is truly ground, groundbreaking. Your Just timing is impeccable. If I had one thing to add, it would be that I'm lying right now. <laughs> you need two things, a drawing board at your place and a ride home. <laughs> oh, okay, what's going on over there? Let's close that notebook. Um, Joy, are we going into the double body? What is this, Tower 8 coming down over there? It's kind of sick. Jesus. Hey, what's your favorite comedy special? Dot, 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 to have sex to. Wow. <laughs> Pat Ray. Killing it. Killing it. Did you did you have to like consciously like not get a boner and shit? No, that was not a <laughs> You see why I don't like it when people try to be funny? Um, and, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love you, Pat. I love you. Stop moaning like that. I hey. love Pat. Well, I think that, that I think that, that set uh I think that, that set wasn't representative of your strongest jokes. And uh I just I like your jokes a lot. <laughs> and Thanks, <sorry. laughs> that's it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mystery Dan, you ever sucked a cock so long it made you think about doing something else? Isn't it fun when you oh. can hear Pat write what he's saying right in front of you? It's always, he just starts sometimes. True imp improvisation. Well, you know, it's tough because I have such a good time listening to the comics riff on the show that sometimes I lose what I'm thinking about. He did it again right there. <laughs> did she call you a whiny, sick, widow, teeth, glove? You know, the good thing about having sex in a car is you can drive away. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Ray, what's the most interesting thing that's happened to you this year? Anything Wait, is in the it world? Is it this year? It might be. I think it is. I think it is. Hey, Tony. Yeah. I'm an amalgamation of my favorite black porn stars. You ever fuck an amalgamation before? No. It's a next level gangbang. All right. I have a poem. What's oh, your, what? one day I was walking, dragging my feet as per usual. And then I saw... I'm done. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, hey, this is a house. Uh, 135 people died in it. <laughs> wow. I, we, can you tell which one of the football players is the most concussed? <laughs> How do people listen to this every week? <laughs> That's, I like that you say that right after you just plunged a minute of dead air right into everything, Pat. Really, really good timing. Yeah, dude, I'm, tor I'm tortured under lights like a lab rat in a, like a school. You're like a teacher and it's just like, I don't know, man. Oh, it's and you're it's such just... an outside-of-the-box <laughs> artist that living in such foundations must be so hard for you with all I of just, your extreme creativity. I just, I just I just like doing my shit more. I know, yeah, we all do. We all do different shit, and every Monday we do this, Pat. Congratulations. Yep. I'm one of the top young rising comedians in the world. You have a new show called Void on Snapchat, so let's just keep plowing through and staying positive, fucko. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a dad. <laughs> and <laughs> and hashtag hashtag uh, Kevin Mac is he running out of battery or something? <laughs> <laughs> I love how sometimes he doesn't have a reggae accent at all. Yeah, yeah sometimes I got like a Jersey accent, like Edward G. Robinson. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs>
You guys don't like Edward G. Robinson? That doesn't sound like Edward G. Robinson. Hey, I'm Edward G. Robinson. You're getting it's me. There. The, the, the one well, and only. Most exciting Edward thing that's G. happened Robinson. to you since you've moved to Los Angeles. Oh, maybe sucking my own dick. Oh, my God. Why is all stand-up about taking shits and dicks? <laughs> like, cultures... You know what you get when you combine... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get stand up, man. I don't get it. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those days, I guess. So I believe New Year's Eve Kill falls Jesus. on a Monday this oh, year. Yeah. Does it? It's New like Year's a dyslexic Jesus. Christmas. Yeah, that's a great. Also, also, that's a believe, Jewish holiday. Also, I believe Monday falls okay, on that's... a Monday. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse the me, black sorry, stuff on the titties if you're Keith Oreo crumbs, and if not, I don't know. Excuse me, I'm what sorry. What the fuck are you talking about? How do you think Yo, tits work? Hold on, time out, time out. Describe a tit. I'm, ta I'm talking it about the, so okay, the nipples. I'm so sorry to interrupt. <laughs> now, my question is this. Uh huh. Oh, shit. I can't remember it. <laughs> Daniel, remember Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I'd like to say that you had, it was a good set, good set, good writing. Uh, you, you lost confidence through the second half of your set. Uh, that affected the outcome. <laughs> and uh, you, you're a smart guy, you know, so watch out. He sounds British and then German. It's like he's just changing accents. Yeah, that's she, what sorry, too sorry. much confidence looks like. <laughs> Or I can just realize I didn't think of a joke and then pretend to fall asleep to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying what. I wasn't saying a. I wasn't saying a joke, Connor. I, I don't. Think this, I don't. Think I like that you started just getting legitimately <laughs> mad and you remembered to do the shitty accent. I don't. <laughs> Dude, I. It's okay. I also have a funnier friend that I rely on. We're in the same boat, Pat. Hi, how are you? I don't. Oh, Jesus this. Christ! You guys are. There's. Mean Boys are trying to start a war with the Kill Tony band. But Connor, <laughs> Connor, Connor, don't you understand that I, like, what uh, I, Connor, I'm serious. It's coming, everybody. Yes, it. I mean, if it is, if you would, if you would stop making club jokes for one second and listen. <laughs> We're in a club. There might. I know, I know, but I'm at the club. I'm invite. I don't. I just here. They have me here. I don't. I. You know. I talk. You know. I think. I don't. I make other stuff, Connor, that you could never make. So I. I don't. I don't know what your whole point is. Why every. You know. Just. 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 I, don't I can know. Break I know three down chords. I feel like I'd be okay. I was. You could break down the comedy set, right. you know, just as accurately you, as Pat. any, sorry. This as any a... other idiot on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> but you're very smart. You're not an idiot. I think there's only one way to solve this battle between uh, Connor and Pat Reagan, and I think uh, they should have a make-out battle right now on the show. <laughs> They're going hard. Oh, yeah. They've fallen over. And dude, and dude, and dude, dude, and dude, how much would you not pay to fuck a goat? Good question, dude. Hey, I wrote you an act. Okay, here we go. You come out, you go, you ever been to the Vatican? What a shithole. Anyway, and then you say, uh, wait, give me, give me, give me one second to get this out, please. Uh, then you say, then you say, uh, they say time flies. Uh, does it fly first class or coach? Uh, do, and does it use TSA pre-check? All right. What kind of car were you driving? Is that probation night? a step up from masturbation? Uh, what? I'm sorry. Nope, Michael nope. over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Why do you think of Ellen? That's what she said. She said I had a talk show. It means right? you got lesbian hair. <laughs> how long have you been doing? How long have you been on stand up? Uh, for a couple of months. Couple months, and you started here in L.A. Yeah, I started here in L.A. More like game show nips. <laughs> that didn't land. Get him. <laughs> Get him, Malik. That didn't land. Tried it not. Good thing there was a straight couple like Joe Rogan and Tony Hinchcliffe to bring some heterosexuality to the proceedings. Fuck yeah! What a what a hip take on comedy that is. The uh, old Rogan and Tony must be fucking if they're doing sold out theaters together. You're right, Pat. That's the uh, stairway to success right there. Uh -huh. The stairway to mediocrity. Fuck yeah, absolute mediocrity. You're right. Yes, very good. <laughs> Why does this feel like a real beef between you guys <laughs> right now? Very bizarre. I, I, uh, I wear diapers and underwear.
underwear and a hat and I walk around town with a baseball bat cause I'm one part baby two parts boy I'll give a wet sloppy kiss to my best friend's dad I'm a baby boy what a little baby boy a baby and a boy am I I got a rattle and a bye bye and I'm never 